बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम असलम माई नेम इज़ आसन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्प्ले एलिमेंटर फॉर्म फ्राम ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट इन एलिमेंटर वर्ड प्रेस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग वर्क इट्स माई रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू नॉट बैक टू आर वर्क सो वी हैव मल्टीपल फॉर्म ना यू सी फॉर्म वन फॉर्म टू फॉर्म थ्री सो वी क्रिएटेड इन सेफ टेम्पलेट एंड देन यू सी शॉर्ट कोड सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्प्ले फॉर्म यूजिंग ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट सो वन पर्सन सेलेक्ट फॉर्म नेम then we are going to display form so we are using elementor pro plugin and then in template save template section you see form 1 form 2 form 3 now we are in form 1 now you see form 1 this is our form 2 this is our form 3 now go to page so we are going to display form from drop down option now click on it and then in search widget write html now you see html widget now drag and drop here and then you see html code so we are going to add code now go to notepad and then you see select field elementor form id my select on change my function and then you see option value select from drop down and then you see value of form 1 form 2 form 3 so this is our drop down field name form 1 form 2 form 3 so you can add form name according to your requirement and you will find all code in video description or in comment section and then you see div id form 1 now you see value of form 1 we are using id and then you see class section style display none and then you see short code element and name template id now back to form page now go to save template and then you see short code we are using in notepad now you see element template id now first copy this back to website and then paste now you see drop down so first click on update now back to notepad if you want to add more then copy this value option and then paste then change value of form 4 so you can add form name according to requirement then you see div id again copy and then paste now make it form 4 class section same and then change short code here elementor template so you can add many form according to requirement now back to elementor page so we update go to page and refresh the page first we are going to check drop down field now you see drop down so we have three option and then we are going to add script code again click on it again search we just write html code now drag and drop here now add it now back to notepad and then you see script function my function document dot get element id my select and then on top you see id my select we are using here and then you see section class name now copy this code and you will find all code in video description or in comment section now paste here and then click on update now page update done go to elementor page and refresh the page now you see by default all form is hide now you see drop down now select form 1 Now you see this is our form one. Now select form two. Now you see form two. Now select form three. Now you see form three. Again select form one. Now we are going to fill this form. So we added some information and then click on send. And then you see message. Your submission was successful. Now go to Gmail to check. So we are in Gmail and then you see we receive message and then you see form one, name, email detail. Now back to website. so you can display multiple form using drop down now you see drop down so our form is changing so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching